Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to give you guys some more footage of Clicker Heroes 2 and I want to kind of show you guys a little bit of how builds work in this game and how you can actually kind of create an actual character opposed to like some other idle games that you've played. So first off, I'm going to go back to an easier world just to kind of face roll a little bit. This is going to be world 9. Uh, my character is currently level 117, you can see here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and jump in and explain my character really fast before I do anything. Um, oh, so by the way, warning, this game is in beta. Uh, I currently have this bug where the game likes to crash. Um, we're just going to close the program and boot it right back up. So if you guys aren't aware, if you didn't watch my previous video, uh, this is going to be a haste stacking build. Uh, gameplay graphics, boop. Okay. It's going to be a haste stacking build, and to show you my tree, um, I can't really tell you the right way to go and what order to go because I kind of like all over the place. But I came down through here, went around, uh, pretty much grabbed like Mammon's Greed, Thrift of Dog Cog, came down, ended up getting like my increased mega or mega increase multi clicks, which is for our main skill multi click. Um, I also went over and grabbed Hedacon's Echo, extremely good. Uh, don't grab huge click discount, it's bugged right now, but Hedekon's Echo is good because it's our main single target skill. You'll see the stacks for our huge click down here. Uh, we also get Limitless Haste to reduce our cooldowns below one second. We also have Flurry, which allows us to go flying all across the screen that you'll see shortly. Uh, we get a ton of haste from our tree. We also have Killing Frenzy, which essentially like gives us 100% increased haste when we kill a monster to scale it even more. We're on our way right now to Precision of Ball, and we're working up into crit and crit damage. We also pulled and went all the way over here to test out Synchrony, which says skills do not interrupt auto attacks. The more haste you have, the quicker you hit. The quicker you hit, the more energy you get. And then I also picked up Restraint for Gold Find, uh, because gold is equal to damage, because the more gold you get, the quicker you can buy your upgrades, then the better gear you have, which is your damage. Um, so as long as I keep my total energy up uh, above, you know, what like above like what 80 something then we're fine and then we've got et phone home over here which gives us 100 max energy which is huge so anyway uh with that being said let's let my build begin oh this is world 11 oopsies i accidentally went to the wrong world uh how do you leave this world chat <laughs> uh oh uh this this is not how it's supposed to begin <laughs> this is the wrong world how do I go back? Can you can you leave the world? <laughs> this is not gonna happen. <laughs> Just click on world nine and start. Okay. So okay, my build's really not that bad, I promise. That doesn't count. Okay, here we go. So what I have right now is I have I know the game may look really shit, I promise it looks a lot better on my end. So I have my upgrade set on my numpad, and all I do is I basically spam my numpad when I run low content, and I can speed through majority of it. So we'll chill for a little bit and try to get some mana back. Get some, or well, some energy technically. Toggle buying stacks of 10. Oh, for some reason, I don't know why it didn't go to stacks of 10. That's really weird. Tip for you guys, press Z to go to stacks of 10. I guess because I had to close the client out, it did that. Okay, here we go. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, now we're, now we're going. I thought something was wrong. Thank you, chat. Okay, so let's chill for a second there. I went a little, little bit too Rambo. Uh, we'll be okay. Um, so now one thing I've noticed is that 
you actually don't want to upgrade your gear all the time when you do stuff like this because right now I'm killing monsters too fast so I can't auto attack while I'm using my skills so I don't have any energy regen. So to fix that, all you have to do is stop upgrading your gear for a little bit. And let's hope I don't one-shot this boss. Okay, well, when stuff like that happens, like I said, it's, it's okay. You know, we'll be all right. Can also just pray for that level up. Um, you know, that level up is going to give us full, uh, <laughs> full energy as well. I'm not trying to upgrade anything. Oh, you know this is level 170? That's level 200. I stopped upgrading so long ago. Stop one-shotting. <laughs> It's okay, we got we got reload coming up, boys. Oh, here we go, here we go. We're not we're not one shotting anymore. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna get our energy back. This is gonna do well, like wonders for us. Perfect. And like I said, we're leveling soon, so we can probably right about. Oh, I hit numlock. Whoopsies. And level up should come right on this next bounce. There's the level up. So we'll chain all the way to 75, which is the boss. Right there. And then maybe we won't one-shot him. Nice. So we'll get full energy off him. And then we'll see if we can bounce from 75 to 100. Each auto attack restores one energy. Okie dokie. Boss time. I <laughs> did. We outran the shopkeeper. For single target, we do stuff like this. Okay, and that's pretty much how my build works in Clicker Heroes. Um, although, if you guys saw on World 11, we're not really ready for World 11. We do have to level up a bit more on these previous ones. Um, yeah, anyway, the game's a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to see the new classes they put out and, like, the balance changes and everything. There's so many different things to really try, to be honest. Like, there's entire click bit, like click storm builds at the top right. There's, like, reload builds in the bottom section. There's going to be mono builds coming out later. So I'm pretty excited to see, like, what comes out. But anyway, like I said, just wanted to show you guys some of the shenanigans that are going on in Clicker Heroes 2. And that's pretty much about it for me. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you are curious, you can always check me out at twitch.tv slash pox. Um, and if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Take care, everybody.